Inca, thank you so much for coming on my channel. Yeah, thank you for inviting me out. <laughs> yeah, I just saw your performance. You did an excellent job. Thank you. Very good stage presence. You were moving around a lot. Are you experienced yeah. with performing? Do you perform all the time? Uh, yeah, actually, this is one of the most intimate ones I've done in a while. But okay. it, it was cool. It was fun. I've never performed out in Oceanside, so it was cool to be out okay. here. Yeah. And your style is like old school rap, 90s kind of poetry style rap. Yeah, I have a little more... Um, I guess more focus on the lyrics. Uh, of course, I always like a good beat, but I do, uh, I love and enjoy still like the boom bap, you know, style. So, you know, I kind of experiment back and forth. <laughs> How long have you been making music? I've been making music for about 12 years or so. Yeah. But on and off, to be honest, not consistently. I, I did stop for a little while because. Uh, you know little things in life but you know we're back at it <laughs> i just got back to doing my shit like maybe a, i'm going on a year and a half or so so i was out of the music uh for like about four years so i'm catching up <laughs> okay, okay that's cool and i forgot to ask you initially what is your social media like oh yeah so it's e m c double -E dot i n k a m c inca but the mc spelled out <laughs> <laughs> and then do you have like a YouTube channel, TikTok? Um, I'm trying the TikTok thing. I don't know if I'm just like old school or whatever, but like I'm I'm trying to get a hang of the TikTok of TikTok, and uh, for sure Instagram, Facebook. I'm not really on on um, Facebook, but uh, you can find me on Instagram, and then my music's on like all streaming platforms. So y'all can find me there. I, my YouTube's active. <laughs> yeah. I want to like be on Facebook just so I can say I do all social media, but I can't. Facebook. Yeah, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> Maybe later on, then get a manager. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then you have music videos and stuff like that on your channel, yeah. or? Yeah, I do. I have. Uh, I have a couple. Um, like I said, I was out of the music scene for a long time. Um, so when was it like november of 2021 we popped back out started dropping videos so i have a few really good ones <laughs> i have good ones you know i i started dropping uh, a lot of content and uh, i'm just focused on dropping content right now yeah if your music could be on any artist playlist you know that you would be similar to who would that artist be i think you know what oh my god if i had somebody similar to me would Fuck, that's a good question. I'm pretty unique. <laughs> but, like, um, I don't know. I wish I would pop up on Larry June's. <laughs> okay. and, uh, but, you know, he's a little more smooth than me. Um, all the 90s shit, you know, like, um, of course, like Biggie, Tupac, you know. I've been compared to uh, Queen Latifah. Because, I don't know if it's the size, but, you know what I'm saying? But I think, it, I mean, she's a dope-ass MC. Yes. I've been compared, like, to even Biggie Smalls, but that that is just a major compliment right there, so... Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it feels like kind of I get that with your style wise. Like yeah, you like so. Hey, the thing is because I'm a you know bigger girl, and then I come at them real raw. They're like, oh shit, Queen Latifah, <laughs> and even little Kim, you know, a little bit too with that. Uh. <laughs> and what about your style influence? What inspired uh, your outfit tonight? Uh, I just <laughs> I just like to shop, girl. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not really like inspired by something specific because. Like, you'll see me wearing this, and then next thing you know, I'm, like, in just T-shirts. And I love to support brands. So, shout out Hood Boys. Um, shout out Hood Boys. They, they fucking uh, send me a lot of fucking merch. They sponsor me. And I just love T-shirts. T-shirts with brands, especially if they're local. Like, that's my shit. <laughs> yeah. And then, last question. If you could go on tour with any three artists, who would those artists be? Oh, fuck. I just seen Glorilla not too long ago, but I don't know if we would match up too much. Um, I think I would definitely like to go with, um, I've um, I've opened up for MB writers and in the Chicano community, they're really big. So I would love to go on tour with them. I feel um, like they, you know, would like the people they draw in would appreciate my sound um, as well as. Fuck, my mind's close enough, but like, I I really think uh, I would go to, oh, fuck, I never thought about that shit. <laughs> I would go with like, fuck, 3-6 Mafia. <laughs> okay, I see, I see Hell yeah. Mafia. They were, they were yeah, you're yeah. fucking dope. I'm like, I, and I, I'm just keeping it small too, but like, shit, I would like to go anything West Coast, like Exhibit, um, all the West Coast legends, like, take me please. <laughs> There, yeah. there should be like a West Coast music festival. They do. They have the one with, oh, fuck, I forgot the name, but it's the, 
uh, exhibit. It's a uh, ice cube. Well, I don't know. I can't remember the name, but like they have a whole tour too. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to my show. Again, you did a great job performing. I'll have some of her performance video on the channel. You can watch it. And tell us one more time your social media. So it's MC dot Inca and the MC spelled out E M C double E dot I N K A. All right. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice night.